Welcome back to the ProSync video training series. In this video, we will cover naming your remotes and using the zone menu on the T755WHO thermostat to view all the R751WO wireless remote indoor sensors you have installed in your ProSync wireless system. To complete this process, you must already have a T755WHO main thermostat and equipment module properly installed and communicating with at least one R751WO wireless remote indoor sensor installed and communicating. If not, please watch the ProSync wireless system initial setup and the ProSync connecting an R751WO wireless remote videos first. Before we begin, you will see the main T755WHO thermostat displays the word main in the text field. On the R751WO wireless remote sensor, you will see remote 1 in the text field. To get started on the T755WHO main thermostat, press the menu button and then press and hold the text set button. Using the previous and next buttons, navigate to the device name text setting. The screen will display DN and main. Use the plus and minus buttons to cycle through the preset names and select a name for your T755WHO main thermostat. Once selected, press Done to save the changes. Next, we will name the R751WO wireless indoor remote. First, press and hold the plus and minus buttons to enter the text settings. Using the fan button, navigate to the device name text setting. The screen will display DN and remote 1. Again, use the plus and minus buttons to cycle through the preset names and select a name for your R751WO wireless remote indoor sensor. Once selected, press and hold the plus and minus buttons together to save your changes. If you have multiple R751WO remotes, repeat these steps to give each one a unique name. Once all the remotes are named, return to the T755WHO and press the Zone button to enter the Zone menu. Here you will see all the remotes in the order you connected them, starting with the T755WHO thermostat. The names shown will match those selected on the individual R751WO wireless indoor remotes. Use the next and previous buttons to cycle through each remote and its ambient temperature. At the end of the list, you will see the system average temperature, which shows you the average ambient temperature for all the remotes in your ProSync wireless system. Finally, if you want to use a specific remote sensor to control the system, you can use the Zone menu to select a device. In the menu, use the Next and Previous buttons to cycle to the specific remote you want to be used for control, and press the Hold button. If you have the schedule turned off, the selected remote will be used to control the system by default. If you have the schedule turned on, the system will start a 4-hour temporary hold, with the selected remote sensor used to control the system. After the update, the name of the remote in control should appear in the text field of all remote sensors. It can take up to 5 minutes for the update to appear on all remote sensors. Congratulations! You have successfully named the T755WHO main thermostat and the R751WO remote sensors in your ProSync wireless system.